Okay. I want to thank everyone for coming out this morning. I really appreciate your time and attention regarding this matter. That is very serious. Unfortunately, I wish we were here under other circumstances, but in this case, we're not. As you all know, April, April, uh, Thursday, April 27th, I was notified by senior investigator Paul Red Jr. from the Department of Labor regarding the, uh, regarding the completion of the investigation and the allegations made by Mayor Thomas and Deputy Police Commissioner Joseph Spezio and others against Creative Direction, Construction and Design and myself. The DOL has ruled that neither my company nor I violated any section of the law showing payments of less than prevailing wage rates or supplements. Over the past years, Thomas administration has carefully uh, crafted a crassly plan to destroy my personal reputation, my reputation as a councilman, and financially collapse my business, which has been very difficult for myself and family. The continuous effort to mislead the public with fictitious statements and falsify federal documents was all because I refused to go along with the mayor's agenda. This gangsteristic governmental thuggery led by the mayor, Richard Thomas, and Deputy Commissioner Joseph Spezio, known as the kingpins of the administration's pay-to-play operation, is damaging and designed to intimidate and extort public officials and government workers. In other words, say as I do or get dealt with. The administration has used hard -er hardworking taxpayers' money for their own personal witch hunk and used it as their personal piggy bank to launch attacks against myself and other government workers by digging into people's uh, personal backgrounds and using Mount Vernon's police department as their own Gestapo. Mayor Thomas and Joseph Spezio has gone as far as filing false police reports accusing Councilman Griffin and myself of breaking into City Hall in the shadowy darkness of night to steal files regarding my case. Also, firing Commissioner Bob Kelly for refusing to sign off on these falsified documents. They have set up uh, they have also set up police in front of employees' homes and businesses in an attempt to pull them over and illegally violate them by ticketing them and sending Mount Vernon police officers to the Department of Labor to attempt to intimidate investigation, investigators and influence the outcome of the investigation. As a taxpayer, I am demanding that Mayor Thomas and Joseph Spezio reimburse the taxpayers of Mount Vernon for the hundreds of thousands of dollars spent on lawyers, investigators, police man hours, city employees used to create and print literature for propaganda and interest charges occurred by the lawsuit. So I am presently calling on the DA's office, Attorney General and the Department of Justice to launch an investigation into the Thomas administration Joseph Spezio, and the Mount Vernon Police Department. Thank you. Right, well, when you do not do what the mayor of this administration wants you to do, it's is going to be an attack on you, assault attack, in di many different ways. In my case, they came up with different allegations of not paying prevailing wage, different allegations of breaking the law, cheating taxpayers, and robbing the city of Mount Vernon, which is all found to be on true time and time again. But still, they continue to follow through with this witch hunt and they have been proven wrong on every aspect of it. So, so now that this whole Melvin thing is should be out of, out of the way now, are you any folks that you're giving money that was owed to you? Well, that, that is a good question. However, the prevailing wage part and everything has been proven uh, that I've never cheated anyone, any worker or anyone else at the firehouse job, and 
Uh, now I heard that he uh, is continuing the investigation because he wants to investigate the subcontractors that was on the job. Well, I'm hoping that we can put all of this behind us and finally close this up and move forward with, for the betterment of the city to get some things accomplished that we are were voted in to do. But right now, as we continue to go back and forth here, trying to get this particular firehouse still open, uh, which it's not, you know, it's something that we need to work towards doing. Ordinarily, business people whose businesses are a reputation of the business is deliberately tarnished uh, seek some sort of restitution when it's determined that there was no basis in law for these allegations. Are you considering any additional um, actions against the city? And do you have any sense of precisely what the financial damage to your company was for the um, allegations that the mayor and Joseph Well, uh, I don't want to further burden the city with anything because the taxpayers already, already have paid hundreds of thousands of dollars on this witch hunt. And we don't want to further burden the taxpayers on that. This lawsuit that I'm launching for defamation of character will be a personal lawsuit against the mayor, Joseph Spezio, and others. Oh, so you're going to be pursuing a defamation lawsuit against the man who is a real person. Absolutely. So now that um, Judge Neary has ruled in favor of creating direction mm -hmm. the construction company, Judge Walker has ruled in favor of the company, and now the Department of Labor investigation report is um, in favor of the company. What is the process now? Well, according to American standards, that would be three strikes and you're out. <laughs> However, I think he wants to continue to go on. I think that, uh, you know, he wants to continuously drag this out and cost the taxpayers more and more money. Well, I sit back and I just know that the interest charge on the taxpayers is 9.1% accrued monthly. So if he wants to continue this, uh, charade and continue to bill the taxpayers all of this money, that's something that I think the taxpayers should address with him. So my question, would, my question is, so what would the process be? For example, um, with the board, since this is dealing with contracts, if it's the board of estimates and contracts that would vote on this, there were three people on the board of estimates and contracts, that is the mayor, the controller, and the president of the council. Would one of the three need to bring in forth legislation to be voted upon? Well, I think uh, they're going to have to wait as my attorneys push for this new judgment this week. So we will force the city by court to pay. And then I guess that procedure will take place right after. So when you said this week, is there a next court date coming up? Yes. When well, the mo well, I don't have the exact date, but I know my attorneys is putting the paperwork uh, for the judgment. Is it, would that be open to the public? Yes, it will. It's all public record. Can you please tell the public precisely how much money is costing city taxpayers every month for interest? Um, well, maybe about a little more than three thousand dollars a month. Three thousand. Yeah. Thirty-six thousand dollars a year. Yes. That's a good retirement package if I let it go for ten years. Thank you.